In this video here, I'm going to be sharing with you a very simple guide for how to get clear about what your heart wants you to do in this life so that you can live in alignment with your soul. You can do what you genuinely, authentically want to do with your life and how to turn it into an actual reality so that it becomes real and you can experience what your soul came to earth to experience. What I've discovered is that this is the primary way to create peace, happiness, fulfillment, wealth, abundance, satisfaction in your life. This is the reason why you've come to earth is to live your life on your terms according to what your soul wants to experience. Now, uh, the problem is that many people have given you a bunch of ideas. They've told you why you can't do this, why this is impossible, why you shouldn't live life on your terms, why your goals are not realistic, why you can't afford it, why it's impossible, it's difficult. You have to fight, you have to work really hard in order to create a life that you want only some people deserve it but not you because you're just a regular average joe and you gotta fight and claw and suffer like the rest of us this is what we've been taught by our culture society our parents our friends and what happens is that your life becomes very very out of alignment your mind becomes filled with all of these ideas for why it's impossible to listen to the longings of your heart. And what your mind actually does is uh, kind of puts your heart into a little cage, to a little box, tells it to go away in the corner and to shut the fuck up and stop making so much noise because its goals, its dreams are unrealistic and could never possibly be satisfied here. Uh, instead, what you have to do is you have to go work, do menial, degrading work that you don't like, <laughs> that's embarrassing, that you're getting not paid enough at all for. Um, you have to settle for living situations that are less than what you want, less than what you deserve, and you just have to live like a slave, basically, because following your dreams and living according to your heart's wishes the way you want to live, that's impossible, right? Well, that's what society, that's what others will have you believe. But I'm here to remind you of something that you already know is true, that you get to live however you want here on earth. And it's actually very simple, but all that's required is a reconditioning process because your mind has been conditioned negatively with a bunch of negative influences that has caused your mind to always be afraid and to shut up your heart in a cage. So what we're going to do is very gently, we're going to take your heart out of the cage. We're going to ask it, hey, what do you actually want in this life? And then we're going to work together. The heart and the mind are going to work together. They're going to come in union so that you can create uh, an extremely powerful life where you live up to your full potential. There's many, many ben benefits where you're, you'll feel free and playful like a little kid on vacation. Uh, you'll be able to actualize your strengths. You'll be able to be the best version of yourself. You'll become insanely attractive as well because when the mind and the heart come into unity, this creates this very, very abundant, attractive energy field around you where other people will feel it. They'll be curious. And they'll want to come closer to you. They'll want to do business with you, uh, which can cause you to make a lot of money. One of the greatest misconceptions is that doing what you're passionate about, doing what your heart loves is the easiest way to live a poor and sad life. But of course, as with many things society has taught us, that is the opposite of true. Actually, when you live in accordance with your heart and you do what you love, you actually become like a celebrity. Where what do celebrities do all day? They just do what they love <laughs> and they just be their authentic self and they don't question it and they don't succumb to this, this, this delusion that, th that they can't live according to their authentic self 
they just allow themselves to do what they authentically want to do and they take the abundance and the benefits and the fame and the riches and uh, the attractiveness that comes with that. So you can do that as well. They're not special people. <laughs> you can do it as well. Why? Think about it. Why is someone else living a, like a celebrity, right? According to their heart's wishes, doing whatever they want all day, uh, creating art and impacting humanity in a positive way. Why are they doing that? <laughs> but you're not doing that. <laughs> What's the difference? Are they like more special than you? Were they born in a better circumstance? Yeah, I'm sure some of them were, but many of them weren't. So the only difference is that they're not buying into this lie that society has told you that you have to fight and claw and suffer and do bullshit work um, in order to survive. That's, that's uh, not true at all. And also you'll have a positive impact on humanity and you'll just you'll make something of your life. You'll have a great life and it'll be very valuable and worth it and you'll really enjoy it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So first of all, I alluded to this already. Why don't you already know what your heart's passion is? Well, when you're actually a kid, when you're born, you do already know. And this is why kids kind of do whatever they want and they tend to not listen to their parents. However, um, it's difficult to keep this this energy of, of authenticity of just kind of doing whatever you want. It's hard to keep this in check as parents, as teachers, as society. So what we like to do is we like to take the kid, tell them to you know stop misbehaving, <laughs> stop doing what they authentically want to do and just kind of stuff their hopes and dreams into a little box and tell them to stop um, trying to change the system. You know, stop being so unrealistic. Oh, you want to be a singer? You want to be a fashion designer? You can't do that. You're not going to make any money. Oh, you want to be a painter? Oh, oh yeah, that's so nice. But you better go to university and become a doctor. <laughs> There's this funny Asia, uh, this joke, um, the Asian dad joke. Um, uh, the son goes to the dad. Uh, dad, I want to be an actor. And the Asian dad goes, actor, you you mean it's pronounced dactor, <laughs> which is, a, you know, kind of a racist joke. But this is not just, you know, in the Asian culture. This is in all cultures and all over the world where the parents in general, um, teachers, society, culture will just not support your hopes and dreams make you feel like it's impossible, it's unrealistic, and they'll just tell you this over and over and over again repetitively, over and over and over again repetitively until it becomes a conditioned habit for you to not trust your own intuition, <laughs> to not trust your authentic inclinations, your passions, your interests, not, tr not to follow them, not to trust that anything good can come out of them, that you can make money doing it or that you could support yourself for that you can live a good life by following your heart's inclinations. We're conditioned. Just, it's just like brute repetition over and over again. You, you have this authentic passion. You, you try to go after it and then it's snubbed short. And this just happens over and over again until eventually when you're 15 years old, 16 years old, by the time you're 20 years old, you just completely give up and uh, you start to live a life of deterioration where you start to slowly deteriorate, where you're living someone else's life according to someone else's doctrine, someone else's rules. It's either your boss or your school system or even the YouTubers that you watch. Someone told you how you should live, what you should strive for in your, your health goals, your spirituality goals, your money goals, your business goals, your relationship goals, someone else is telling you what you should want in your life and you're eating it up like a fool. You're listening to them because you don't trust your, your yourself. You, you think to yourself, how could I possibly know what I want from my life? <laughs> you just listen to other people's doctrines and this leads you to live a very dissatisfied life because you're, what you're doing every single day and how you're living and how you're thinking isn't in alignment with that little kid self that's deep inside you, still there, but hasn't gotten a lot of love and attention and respect and appreciation and 
hasn't been taken seriously. This little kid self that is really the only way you're going to feel peaceful, happy, fulfilled, and live as your full potential, as your best self. He's been stuffed away in a, in a little corner and told to shut the fuck up. So we uh, we want to build, a, we want to reconnect with that. We want to remember what what do we authentically want in our life. That's not what someone else told me, but like not you know society's expectations of like oh i should get married yeah but do you actually want that <laughs> or oh i should be a lawyer it's like oh but do you actually want that or oh i should make a business social media marketing agency that makes ten thousand dollars a month but do you actually want that is that what you actually want is that what actually make you excited or are you settling for less because you've haven't even considered your authentic goal because you feel that your authentic goal is just impossible. It's a pipe dream. So you just settle for the next best thing, which is $10,000 a month with a social media marketing agency. <laughs> and then everyone is just following everyone else's path. But we're just like sheep following other people's paths, but no one wants to be a unique individual, a creator of their reality by following their own intuition. So how do you remember what your heart authentically wants instead of just living on other people's paths? It's actually a very simple process. You just want to, first of all, ask yourself genuinely, what life situation would make me feel peaceful and fulfilled? So I want you to visualize, like, what do I want to do with my life authentically? What do I want to experience? And don't worry if you don't feel like it's realistic or that you can't afford it or that someone else told you it's impossible or that you feel like you're going to be judged by your parents. If temporarily, as a thought experiment, we're going to just take... All of those considerations, we're just going to throw those out the window for now. And we're just going to ask this little kid self inside of us, hey, what would make you feel like your life is a continual vacation? What would make you feel free and playful like a little kid where every single day you're excited to be alive? Now, you really want to spend a lot of time on this. This You, you might, don't immediately tell yourself, well, I don't know. <laughs> no, you do know. But the odds are you're blocking the answer because of all of these other people's reasons that your mind is infected with. Don't worry about other people's reasons. We want to just ask the little kid inside you, what would make you happy? It's like you're taking a kid to the toy store and you're just asking them to pick a toy. <laughs> You can have any toy you want. Which one is it? Just point to it. Tell me. Which one is it? And don't get seduced by these societally implanted ideas of luxury or fame or, or esteem. Like, oh, I want to have hundreds of people worship me because I have the biggest house and the, the I'm the most beautiful woman and the, I have the most beautiful face and this and that, it, it's all totally okay for you if you genuinely want a luxury home and you want to be beautiful, that's fine. But we want to differentiate like uh, someone else's goal, which is coming just from what society told you, like the commercials that you watched or the, mo the Hollywood movies that you watched told you that you need to have this type of house or this type of clothes or this type of job. But you want to just really like try to eliminate societal conditioning. You just want to like be free when you ask yourself this question. You want to ask yourself, what do I genuinely want? It may not even involve having a lot of money. It may just involve just being free to do what you want to do. 
all day and having enough money to be taken care of and to take care of your loved ones. But really put yourself in this position of like, what am I doing all day? What's making me feel fulfilled and satisfied? Am I exploring the mountains? Am I living in the forest? What am I doing all day? Am I painting? Am I making YouTube videos? What's going to make my life feel like a continual vacation? Am I traveling? Am I on the beach? And don't judge your answers here. So you you can tell that you're you're getting closer to the your actual goal, your true goal if you, you you know something is not your true goal if it makes you feel anxious or uneasy or uh, afraid if your heart closes up and you don't know why when you think of this goal then that means it's not your true goal so if you think about this gigantic luxury castle where you're living on, on top of a mountain and, and you're thinking that that's your true goal. But as you're visualizing it in your mind's eye, your chest closes down and starts to feel afraid and tense for no reason. It doesn't feel excited. Then that's not your true goal. And then you can pivot, visualize something else and just try to get closer to that feeling of openness, freedom, excitement, like a little kid on vacation, like, wow, I get to do whatever I want all day. This is so exciting. I love this. That's the feeling we're going for, where there's no tension or closure. Tension and closure is not going to exist at the same time as love and abundance and expression and happiness and freedom and fulfillment so what you're doing is you're basically searching in your imagination what life scenario does my child self like my my inner child my my soul my heart what life does it want <laughs> and we're not worrying about practicality because practicality isn't as practical as you think it is because your mind has been infected with all these ideas of common sense like oh well i can't do that because i don't have enough money or how am i going to do how am i going to figure it all out don't worry about how you're you're going to figure it all out because the truth is you don't know yet you have to leave some some open space you don't know i don't know how i'm going to get this it's like a kid at the toy store they don't care whether the toy is affordable or possible to get. They just to get. They just kind of point and pick. So, you want to search in your imagination, basically, and you're doing. It's like a dowsing process, almost like when you're walking on the beach with a metal detector, and uh, the metal detector starts to go when you, it gets near gold. It gets near the thing you're searching for. That's the feeling in your heart. When the heart starts to get excited and it starts to feel playful, like maybe you're thinking of living in the Caribbean and going scuba diving every single day and catching fish and then serving them in your sushi restaurant. And that's like the most exciting thing ever for you, like 100% excitement. Then you found your true goal. Congratulations. But if... That feels like, ah, uh, well, that's not really my, that, like, that sounds nice. Like for me, for example, that sounds nice in theory. Like, yeah, I guess I would want to do that, but that's not really my unique true goal. That's probably someone else's goal. So you know it's your true goal when your heart is singing and your mind is rubbing its hands together and is just like, yes, like this is exactly what it is. All right. So you visualize the end result to test and see how it makes you feel. And there's no limits. All right. And now I'm going to show you how to turn this into an actual reality. But first, I got to pee. So one second. I was so excited I had to pee. All right. We're back. So let's talk about 
how to take this vision. Congratulations, you've discovered your true authentic goal. Spend a lot of time on this part. You could just visualize in your mind. This might take a few days. This might take a week. Just spend the whole week thinking about what's my authentic goal without anyone else's opinions and anyone else's considerations or no one else's ideas are infecting this process. It's just your, your inner child self. What does he want or what does she want? Like for me, for example, one of them... Uh, that always gets me as excited as going out in nature and just looking at animals. I in my in my mind I always say uh, going to going to go look at moose in in the Canadian forest. So there's nothing logical about this. There's no like I can't make mo- like I don't know if I can make money doing this. Like there's no like no this isn't coming from society's conditioning. This is just my authentic inner child self that wants to go out into the forest and look at moose <laughs> and just be like, "Oh my god, it's a moose." <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> that's it. it. It's that's that's it. That's that's the authentic goal. And of course there's other parts to my vision as well. And all of them make me feel excited and authentic and like yes like this is the best life ever my life is a continual vacation it's an explosion of love it's a celebration at all times so do your best search in your imagination find the life setup that gives you that same feeling and now i'm going to talk about how to make it real so um what society has not told you is that you are a creator of your reality and you get to live life on your terms now that doesn't mean that you're going to you know murder people or rape people or cause dysfunction and chaos in society that's you know the first thought like oh if i live life on my terms then that means i'm going to break all the laws and i'm going to be thrown in jail no that's the conditioning that i was talking about that was wants to take your heart just crumple it all up and throw it in the corner and tell it to shut the fuck up. We're not doing that here in this video. We're respecting our authentic intuition, our heart, our inner child. We're respecting it because this is the only way to live a fulfilling, meaningful life that is abundant and authentic and free and loving and in just fulfilling. <laughs> so how do we actually make this real? This is going to sound a little bit crazy, and this is going to require some open-mindedness, but bear with me, okay? So, in the last hundred years, (laughs) we have made a gigantic discovery in the realm of science, specifically with the developments of quantum physics. Yes, we're going there. Just stick with me. Trust me, it's going to be worth it. So, what we've discovered through experiments such as the double slit experiment is we've discovered that on the microscopic level that reality is not only made of little tiny particles atoms that are physical and stuck the way that they are but what we've discovered is that although reality is made of particles for an instant For most of the time, (laughs) reality is actually made of probability waves. It's made of potential energy. So when the present moment is here, in this physical, this moment right here that you're in right now, this is solid. All of the, the atoms, the particles have solidified, they've materialized just for one instant. This instant right here, the present moment, Now, you can't change now because now has already been materialized. The only way to change now is is to actually physically get in there with your hands and pry things apart and actually build things and change it. So, in order to create the reality that we want, we, we, we shouldn't only work with the material plane but we should also simultaneously work with the unmanifest plane, otherwise known as the possibility field. So 
the reason why no one has ever told you this before is because modern science has taken the findings of quantum physics and shoved it into a little box, into a little cage, and put it in the corner and told it to shut the fuck up. <laughs> because the truth is that on the microscopic level, reality is a particle when it's here in your experience, when you're looking at it, but when you're not looking at it, when it's behind your back <laughs> or when it's in a different room or when it's in the future or in the past, the rest of reality is a possibility wave, probability. It could be anything. There's actually an infinite number of potentials of where it, what it could be. It could be anything. Now, what modern science has done is sa has said, well, that is only true on the microscopic level, but we have no evidence to suggest that that's also true on the macroscopic level. Yeah, sure. Yeah, with little tiny particles. Yeah, okay, Adam. Yeah, we've we've verified that that's true. Definitely, it took a long time, but yes, we definitely we verified that that's true. But we have no evidence to suggest that that microscopic phenomenon also applies to our everyday lives and that is 1000% bullshit not true at all in fact modern scientists just don't want to hurt their heads thinking about the potential ramifications of understanding the quantum ramifications of everyday life because it's actually emotionally challenging now it actually affects your everyday life or you actually have to live differently now if you took the ramifications of the quantum discoveries that we've made on the microscopic level and you you actually apply them to your daily life which i'm going to show you how to do now this requires a changing your worldview it, it, which is difficult. It's emotionally challenging. This requires living differently. You might, you may have to eat different food. <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> you may have to get a different job. <laughs> you may have to actually become a creator of your reality. You may have to take on a different metaphysics. You may have to believe in spirit. You, you, changes everything so this is uh something that many scientists don't want to do they don't want the science that they're doing to actually personally affect their lives they want to keep it in their little box out there they just want to study reality from a distance but they don't want the actual findings to like touch their their lives and, and their survival and their family and the food they eat and all of this so they just lock the findings of quantum mechanics on the microscopic level and they don't want to apply it to the macroscopic level however you can't keep the genie in the in the bottle forever the truth is that reality is quantum on b both the microscopic and the macroscopic level the microcosm and the macrocosm is quantum what does this mean i already alluded to that in the present moment, if, if you check out the double slit experiment, I, I don't want to explain the whole double slit experiment in this video. I've already done it in past videos. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. Go look at the double slit experiment. But basically what we've discovered is that when you're observing reality, it collapses into a solid particle. But when you're not observing it, it's, it's a wave of possibility. It could be anything. This, we know this is true on the macroscopic level is beca in, because you always find evidence for what you're looking for. So if you want to find evidence that the world is a shithole and is a terrible place to live, you'll find tons of evidence that the world is a shithole and is a terrible place to live. If you want to find evidence that the world is an amazing, beautiful utopia, you'll find tons of evidence supporting that as well. If you want to find evidence that reality is a particle, you'll find you'll, and you look for it, you'll find reality will be a particle. If you want reality to be a wave, it'll be a wave. If you want your your boss at work to be a piece of shit, if you think he's a piece of shit already, 
he'll be a piece of shit. But if you think that he's a great guy with many redeeming qualities, then he'll be a great guy with many redeeming qualities. Reality gives you what you look for. This is why conspiracy theorists, for example, can construct extremely convincing, extremely convincing worldviews for themselves. They can trap themselves in a little bubble of reality that's completely different than everyone else's reality because of confirmation bias. The They were already looking for the world to be governed by the Illuminati, let's say, for example. Not saying that's true or not true. But if you believe it already, the, the your social media algorithm and your mind will just select for that thing to be true and it will become true for you. Whereas if you're a Christian, for example, all reality will appear that it was Christian. <laughs> if you're an, a Muslim, reality will become Islam. If you believe that science is the only way to make sense of the world, then reality will agree with you. If you believe that ghosts exist, reality will agree with you. <laughs> and you might say, well, Adam, but what's the actual way that reality is? And the answer is that this is the actual way that reality is. It's a mirror. It agrees with what you give to the reflection. If you believe that reality is a certain way, it'll take the shape of what you believe it to be because reality is an infinite possibility wave. And when you focus your attention on a specific part of this possibility field, it materializes into physical reality and it becomes present here in your actual life. <laughs> These are the findings of quantum mechanics. You can create reality in any way that you want. <laughs> in the Bible, for example, they say God created man in his image and God is a creator. Man is also a creator. You are a creator. Woman as well. <laughs> These are the ramifications of quantum physics. This is what reality is. You can make it by learning how to harness your attention and focus it on the results that you want. <laughs> and in this scenario here in this video, we're talking about the result where I'm living in alignment with my heart, <laughs> with what my soul actually wants. I'm living a continual vacation. <laughs> I'm living free and abundant where I can express my deepest gifts and talents according to what my unique blueprint wants, <laughs> what I want. So very simply, in order to make this real, is you need to focus your attention more on the, the end result of already living in your dream reality. So first of all, make sure that your heart is, I, sorry, first of all, make sure that the dream reality you're focusing on is your true goal. It's not someone else's goal. It's not the president's goal, not your mom's goal. It's not Alex Hormozzi's goal. I love him, but it's not my goal for you. <laughs> it's not your favorite YouTuber's goal. It's your goal. Focus on the end result where you're living your goal. You're living your dream. So your dream is to live in on a beach in France. Great. Visualize your house. Actually live there actually get the details live there in your in your mind connect to the feeling of it because what you're doing is you're you're going into the possibility space where there's an infinite amount of possibilities anything's possible why can't you have a house in france think about it why not <laughs> there's what there's one parallel reality out there <laughs> that is you living in a house in france there's no limit. There's no reason why you, there's not an infinite number of realities that one of them is you living there. <laughs> so focus your attention on that reality. <laughs> the one where you're living in alignment with your heart and your soul. Focus on it. How do you do this? There's many ways to do this. Um, I like using the plate technique, which I've made another video about. I'll link it, how to control your reality using the plate technique. I learned this from uh, the book Tufty the Priestess. It's, it works amazing. So multiple times per day, 
I'm saying here at least 30 times per day. You want to just stop what you're doing. Stop your life. Okay, so to make it very simple, step one, just realize that you're living, you're alive. Okay, Real, realize that, wake up, basically. Step one, wake up. Step two, stop what you're doing and just take one minute, just one minute. You can close your eyes and just put yourself in that beach house in France. Living your life purpose, creating your art or your music or fishing in on a lake in western canada or swimming in a, a a deep blue hole in the caribbean just for one minute get the feeling of it actually be there don't look at it as if you're looking at a painting be in it as if you're playing a video game like first person you're in it you're in the life Get the feeling of it. Like, yes, yes, I love living in this beach home in France. The feeling of it. B actually be there. Go walk, take a walk on the rock beach. You may have to put your water shoes on because the rocks are sharp. Get all those details. Do this at least 30 times a day. So you actually need to stop what you're doing and connect to that new reality that you want. Then you just got to wait a little bit. It's not going to, reality is not going to change instantly. You got to just wait and you got to have faith. You got to do this consistently for a month. Do it for a long time. You may ask, Adam, how long is it going to take? The answer is forever. <laughs> You're never going to stop creating reality. <laughs> You're a creator. <laughs> so this is something you're going to always be doing. Always be looking ahead to the next moment. Thinking, what's the next thing I want to create from my heart? And then focus on it. You're, you're never going to get to a point where like, oh, I like, <laughs> I, I don't have to create reality anymore because no, that's not the point of being alive. For as long as you're alive, you're always going to want to create reality. So in the meantime, while you're waiting, by the way, don't wait, actually just live in this new reality. Then you want to be conscious of how you're spending your energy and attention. So a, a big thing that's going to block you is just being irresponsible with how you use your life energy. So you don't want to be putting your energy and attention into things that aren't serving you. Like, for example, video games, pornography, smoking, um, arguing with people, just scrolling endlessly on social media. Instead, put your energy and attention on your vision. Instead of on all of these energy sucks that are trying to suck your, your life energy out of you, don't do that. <laughs> you know if it's good for you based on how your heart feels while you're doing it and after. A lot of things out here in society are not trying to help you. They're trying to suck your energy out of you <laughs> to use it for themselves. So instead, take that back. Stop giving your, your energy away, your attention away. Take it back. Put it back on yourself. Bring it back to yourself. Bring it back to yourself. Focus on yourself, what you want, what you want to create, what you want in your life. I, one way I love to do this is to clean your house. Also, a very important is to do personal development as well. Don't make it a big deal. A lot of people will make videos on YouTube over here like, like as if personal development is a difficult grind. You need to fight. You need to get up in the morning, 4 a.m. and you gotta fight. You gotta fight longer and harder than everyone else. No, don't do that, please. It doesn't work. I've tried. You don't need to fight longer and harder than everyone else because that's actually shifting you to a parallel reality where you're fighting longer and harder than everyone else. You don't want to fight long and hard. <laughs> you want to 
actually not fight. You want to be calm and happy and free. So when you're doing personal development, do it in a calm, happy, and free way that's authentic to you. So clean up your diet. Okay, Stop eating food that's sucking your energy. <laughs> I recommend more lemon water, more fruits, more vegetables. Etc. I got lemon seeds in my mouth. Exercise, learning, meditation. And this is stuff that I talk about a lot on this channel here. So you got a lot of resources here, even on my website, adamacelli.co, that'll help you with the logistics of how to actually do personal development. And this will kind of put the energy in motions when you're working on yourself. You're not giving your energy away to energy sucks, but you're focusing on yourself and many times per day, you're reconnecting to your vision. You're living in your dream reality. You're feeling it. You're enjoying it. You're living in alignment with your heart. You're not worrying about pointless shit. You're not arguing with people. Not necessary. Instead, ignore things that aren't helping you and focus on what your heart wants. Instead, over time, it's going to take forever, <laughs> but it may happen a lot quicker than you think. You will start to sh see shifts because of the laws of physics. This is how physics works. When you put your attention on something, on a potential in the possibility space, it materializes, but not instantly. It takes a little bit of time. So be patient and be consistent. You have to be consistent. That's how reality gets created, through consistency. Frequently, do it. Whatever you do frequently determines your frequency. And that determines the reality that you experience. Comprendo. Okay, good. And actually make it happen. So you're not just sitting on your couch and visualizing. You're also taking action in your life. Like if, if you need to make a website, you're actually making the website with your hands. If you need to do a business deal in order to, you know, set up your dream reality, you need to actually do the business deal. You need to actually go online, look for the house that you want to buy. So you need to actually do the logistics as well. You need to do what's necessary to make it happen, but take simple action. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Just do the bare, do the bare minimum of what's necessary to achieve your goal and it will happen. All right. This is how reality works. I hope this helped you. This was how to achieve, whoops, how to achieve, how to <laughs> align your life with your heart, okay? If you want some help with this, I recently just created a private community where I give you support, guidance, and a space for you to work with other people who are on the same journey as you, who are trying to create a unique life in alignment with their heart. I give you all of my favorite practices for doing this that I've used for myself. And if you're interested in joining this private community, it's actually very important. Well, I don't want to say it's very important. You don't need my help. You can do it yourself. You're a creator. However, if you want some extra support, some extra accountability, if you want to be part of a community where other people are doing it as well, and you want some guidance where I can actually help you personally, then you can click the first link in the description to check out my private community. That's where I'm helping other people just like you who are creatives. They want to create the reality that they want, but they just want some extra help. So if you want to join that, then you can click that link in the description, schedule a call with me to see if I can help you. And otherwise, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I got a website here. There's a bunch of videos. I got more videos coming out about personal development, how to be the best version of yourself. We're using a lot of um, findings that I've discovered in my research of the last eight years of just researching like endlessly, like all kinds of different perspectives about how reality works and how to live a happy life. So I do a lot of research and um, they save you a lot of time by making these videos. So you may want to subscribe, check out my website. I got free stuff on there. 
check out my private community and otherwise i hope this helped and stay tuned for the new videos to help you live the life you want to live all right peace